Fly me to the moon Let me play among the stars Hey guys, how's it going today? As you know, uh, Point 19 was released uh, a few days ago and I've been messing around with uh, rovers. They're really, really fun. And I've put together a rover that um, I think is pretty good for the moon. I've spent a decent amount of time on it um, and I will demonstrate it once I get there. But uh, this is the rocket and crazy contraption that I have to land it there. So I'm going to launch it and I'll meet you guys once I get back to the moon. So see you guys in just a minute. <laughs> Alright, here we are over the target. It's burning now. Alright, that's good. Need to shift it south just a little bit. How much fuel do I have left? Oh, got a lot. Cool. I'm pretty excited to see how this thing performs on the moon. It's never been there before. All my testing was on uh, land, um, or Earth, obviously. Kerbin, whatever. Gotta get ready to burn or retrograde pretty quickly because in my experience things come down to the moon base pretty fast around uh, 400 meters per second which uh, needs to be killed pretty quickly as long as you don't want to uh, be litho breaking which is not a good idea all right time accelerate Probably going to want to be pointing more vertical, probably around uh, 60 degrees, I think. See the base.
there it goes. Alright, well there's that, and now we drive the thing over. Frame rate's a bit low, got a lot of flying fuses around, and you can still hear them exploding and such. But that went, that went really well. Let's see, I'm going to deploy Communitron and the other one. Nice. Good time of day to uh, have arrived as well. I'm very happy with with the new parts. You see here these uh, these two boxes on the side of the rover are uh, the passenger compartments, and I uh, made them using the new parts, and they work really well. I like it a lot. I'll have to get rid of those parts over there. They're gonna add a lot of lag to this area. Also, my computer doesn't really like it when I run fraps while playing KSP. It likes to panic. But uh, this will finally allow the Kerbals on the base to go and visit the, uh, the arch, which is about 5 kilometers from here or so. It's somewhere around here. I don't, it's over there. There it is. Hmm. Well, that's pretty darn cool. Yeah. There we go. Um, I'm going to go delete those parts, and I'll be back to you guys in just a second. All right. Got that debris deleted. Now we're ready to take the uh, rover out on its first trip. So let's switch over here. Let's get Mr. Jordan Kerman out here. And I actually am just realizing this, um, the crew of the moon base is entirely um, the crew that I sent on a mission to Gilly. So, it's just, I, I think it's a little weird. It ended up that way. They didn't actually all come down at once. Um, the original, or two of them came down with the moon base core, well, you know, in that first video that I made. Um, and this guy, Jordan here, I got him... Um, down here on the moon base in an off-screen mission uh, involving my space station and a lander that was on the space station, which is uh, the primary way that I'm going to be getting uh, Kerbals down here onto the base, um, because it's just a lot easier than sending um, a ship that has its own lander on it and stuff. I mean, why, why would you do that? The station already has a la has landers on it, so... Anyway, um, I kind of like these little passenger quarters here that I've designed for them. And uh, the rover, or the, uh, the buggy itself, is unmanned. Um, it doesn't need anyone in it to drive it, as you saw a minute ago. Um, I originally had toyed with the idea of just using, uh, well, hang on, I'm trying to quick save here, just in case. Um, I toured the idea of using little capsules, um, but I don't know, I, I, it ended up not looking very good, and I just wanted to stick with this um, little box solution, because they don't actually need to drive. only problem is... Um, I can't get uh, more EDA fuel. Other than that, let's put these things up. I said, let's put these things up. 
And we... Which direction is it? It's over there. We're going to set off on a journey to the uh, the arch. Now, I've got to be careful. Um, this thing, you know, from just... I'm just taking a guess here because of the low gravity. It had some trouble with flipping over on the planet, but I'm thinking with the low gravity on the moon, it'll have even more trouble with flipping over. So, got to take everything slowly. Got to not turn quickly, keep the speed down at a relatively low level, um, and should be fine. But, uh, so anyways, I will drive over there and meet you guys again when I get over there. Well, here we are. Uh, I'm going to proceed to get uh, Jordan, or whatever, all the way up to the top. And uh, I think this one is Jordan. Let's see. Not him. Yes, wait, him. Jordan. Let's just walk right on out of this thing, and uh, luckily the thing has brakes, so let's get jump, our uh, EVA pack, go up there. I wonder if something like this could actually form on the moon. I really doubt it, because these things generally need air or water or something to help them form, but I don't know. Maybe. Unlikely, but possible. Oh no, that's bad. Hope he can stand up before he falls. No, he's falling. It's a long way down. I'd like to regain control before I hit the ground, please. Yeah, bit of a hard landing, but he survived it. Let's just try that again. With less of the falling off and almost dying. This is a bit unrelated, but has anybody actually successfully um, EVA'd out of a ship in lunar orbit and then landed on the surface safely without doing any like ridiculous bouncing things? Because sometimes you can jump out at high speeds and survive. But uh, I'd like to know. So if you have, let me know in the comments. Because I know you can do it on Minmus. I've done it, I've done it on Minmus. But... Um, on the moon, it seems a little hard. I've tried it a couple times, but all ended in failure. Well, there's the base over there, 16.3 kilometers away. So it's much farther than I had actually estimated. I don't know why I said 5 kilometers. I just kind of, I guess it was just a weird assumption. Well, we're on top of the world here. All right. And uh, I think I'll end it off here. This video was pretty short, but um, you know, I don't, I don't know if anyone actually likes watching those 50-minute videos that, that I make of, in the Moonbase series. So I'm going to keep this one short. Um, so I will see you guys all later, and I hope you're having a great day. Bye.